The first feature I want to talk about involves PSD files. Now when we go and talk to Mari artists, sometimes we find that somewhere in their department someone might put together an initial texture set in 2D alone within Photoshop, or another program that can deal with PSD files. They then want to take this data and utilize it in here within Mari, where you can actually do your proper high-res texture painting. Now at the moment in Mari 1.3, uh, the best way to do that really is to bake down your Photoshop layer stack and bring it in as a single image. However, Mari 1.3 4 allows you to bring in an entire Photoshop layer stack into Mari automatically. So let's take a quick look at that. So over here in Photoshop, I have this map created for us. Uh, if I put the wireframes over it, this is basically the eye section of our ogre. And in here on the bottom right hand corner, you can see that we have really five layers going from the pupil to the background color. And we want Mari to bring in each one of these layers individually into a separate channel so that we can paint, warp, distort, do whatever we want with it uh, before putting it into our final shader. So what I'm going to do is head back, of course, into Mari to begin with, and over here in my channels list, I've created a blank channel called PSD Import. Now in actuality, you can really right-click any of these channels whatsoever, but I just want to be clear here. I'm just going to right-click this channel and go Import. Now in this box, we get to import a file per patch on our object. Now if we wanted to import this for the entire thing, of course we would fill in a file path for each one of these little paths. However, we only want to do the eyes. So I'm going to quickly cancel out of this. I'm going to go over to my UV view and make sure I know exactly which patches the eyes sit on. So as you can see, we're on patch 1011 and 1021. So back over here in our PSD import, again I'm going to right click and go import. And on 1011 and 1021, I want to browse to and locate that PSD file. So I'm going to quickly come over here. I'm going to go into my Mari, 1-4, Elements, I, PSD, I Texture, and click Open. Now, of course, I can come in here and just quickly copy and paste that into 1021 as well. And then with that done, I'm going to come down and click All. Now at this point, what Mari is going to do is look at every single layer in that PSD file and bring it in as a brand new channel accurately named here at the top of our channels list. Now to see this, I need to switch over to my default shader, so I'm just going to quickly hit my I shortcut and bring that up. And then once we click through every single one of these layers, you can see it looks exactly as it did within Photoshop. So at this point, we can paint, we can warp, we can use all of Mari's excellent tools to do whatever we want on a per layer basis with these brand new channels. Also, if we now want to see the result of these channels as they were within Photoshop a minute ago, we can go over to the shaders palette and in here we have a brand new option called create layered shader. Now when I click this, Mari is automatically going to go through and create a shader for us based upon those layers that are imported into channels, and it's going to take all of the blend modes into account as well. So now we can see exactly what we saw in Photoshop, but we of course have the functionality that comes with using Mari's awesome tools with the different channels of data. At this point, if I switch back over into my orthographic view, you can see that our eyes are indeed shaded up exactly as we want, but of course the rest of our shader has disappeared. So at this point, I want to basically merge the two shaders together, and I'm going to do that by baking down our brand new shader. So I'm going to click that in the shaders list, I'm going to right click it and go to bake shader, and inside of here we can get all of the different components that we want. I'm going to go for the unlit component, so I'm going to click the bake button, the bake checkbox, and I'm just going to name this eyes diffuse bake. Now with that done, I'm going to click all visible patches, and this is going to be baked down into a brand new channel uh, within our channels list, and I'll show you that in a second. Here we go. So inside of here we have eyes diffuse bake, so all that's required now is for me to add this into our existing shader setup. So I'm going to use our eye hotkey again, you can see I'm a big fan of that guy. I'm going to come over to our original comp shader where we can't see the eyes. I'm going to go into our shaders list, and down here in our shader module stack, I'm going to add a new shader module. I'm just going to add in a base diffuse and click OK. And in our diffuse at the top here, I'm going to click current channel and set that, of course, to eyes diffuse bake. Now at this point, we have all of the different elements in here taking full advantage of that PSD import workflow. So that is the first brilliant feature in the brand new release of 1.4.